Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create users using CSV file in uh, Linux. Okay, so we're going to use bash script to automate the creation of users. So instead of uh, actually creating users manually, if you have a lot of users, it's a lot of pain to create all these users with uh, their home directories, uh, assign them the bash shell, passwords, and so on and so forth. So to automate the creation of users, okay, uh, here is uh, the, the script that will do that for you, okay? So stay tuned, we are gonna create the script together and we are gonna go over it step by step. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, uh, before creating the, uh, the script, I need to create a CSV file. I think I already did, so um, let me check. I'm going to use the ls command. As, as you can see here, I'm going to cat the, uh, the users.csv file. It's comma separated value file, as you can see. Okay. We have first name, last name, username, department, password. And we have two users just for demonstration purposes. Okay. So, um, uh, the first thing, let's create the uh, bash script, okay? I'm gonna use vi, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna use sudo, sorry, vi, and then I'm gonna actually add users, okay, dot uh, sh, uh, or add uh, users, let's say from, from uh, csv, Okay, from csv.sh, that's sh, the extension of the bash shell, okay? So, um, the first, I'm gonna use the shebang, okay? So, uh, the shebang were the, uh, the path to um, the bash script, so it's user, it's usr bin, okay, bash, in your case might be different so if you have uh, if you don't know where actually the bash shell uh, the path to the bash shell you could actually um i'm gonna save and exit so uh since i'm using vi i need to be in the command mode and then i'm gonna wq so write and quit you could actually use the command which okay which bash to check where what is the path to bash okay if i make sure that uh, uh, the path actually does exist and okay what is the path to your bash uh, script so uh, let's actually manipulate the uh, the file again so the first thing we need to do is i'm gonna declare a variable called my input input right here and this variable will actually hold the path where the uh, CSV to the CSV file, okay? So the path to my CSV file is in home, Abdel or Abdel OL like this, and then uh, users.csv file, okay? This is the, the path to uh, the users, um, the CSV file. And then I'm gonna actually use the clear, okay, keyword, and declare a couple of uh, new variables that's going to assign them uh, later on. And then declare minus a l name for the last name, declare minus a and then user for username, declare minus a uh, depth for department, and then declare minus a pass for the uh, password okay so i'm going to use the uh, while loop okay that will read through the csv file and create arrays for each column okay so i'm going to declare the uh, while loop right here and then while ifs okay this will actually take care of separation of those columns okay and then i'm going to use read Okay, uh, minus R, and then the first name, first name, sorry. Those are actually case sensitive. They should be exactly as in the CSV file. Then we have the last name. Then we have the user name, department. And then we have the password. 
Okay, semicolon. And then do, okay, so while do. So when we use while, we use the uh, do. So I'm gonna assign actually those variables here that I declared up top, okay, and assign them the columns of the CSV file right here, okay? So let's do that. I'm gonna say f name plus equals, okay? And I'm gonna use the between parentheses, there we go. And then dollar sign, whenever we declare a variable, we need to use, if we wanna access it, we need to use dollar sign for that in, okay, the bash script. So first name, and then we have the uh, L name, okay, plus equals, go plus equals dollar sign and then last name similarly for the user plus equals okay plus equals username variable username variable here and then the uh, the depth variable that we declared up top, and we're going to assign it the variable department. Okay, and the last variable is the pass plus equals, and then we are going to use the um, assign it the password variable. So uh, this will be password with capital letters, so password here. And then we have declared those uh, passwords. After actually assignment, after variable assignment, we need to actually use done to finish the while loop. And we're gonna use uh, input output redirection. So we're gonna redirect whatever, okay, uh, variable that you declared my input, we are gonna redirect it to, to done, okay? So this is my, input variable that we declared up top and then we are going to loop okay over uh, those users and create them using for loop so uh, for for index okay in and then i'm going to use the uh, the array of uh, variables so we're going to use a dollar sign and then i'm going to use Okay, exclamation mark, and then user, and then I'm gonna use the at symbol here, okay? So we're gonna loop, okay, over the array of those variables here. And then, of course, we start uh, for loop with four, and then uh, do, okay? I need semicolon in here, so there we go. Semicolon, and then do, and then what we want to do, we want to actually uh, sudo, okay, and then group add. So we need to add the groups first, okay? We need to add those groups uh, first. So in the groups that we want to add, we're going to add a, the array of the uh, department, whatever department is. And then, here we go. Then I'm going to use the variable depth and then and then the uh, index, index, okay, right here, that's it. I'm gonna use a semicolon, so to tell the, um, this is the end of the statement. And then we are gonna use a sudo user add, okay. User add is used actually with a couple of options, like mine's G, okay. So uh, the minus G basically will add a newly created user to a group named after their department, okay? Um, so let's do that. So uh, minus G and then I'm gonna actually use the, um, okay? The dollar sign and then the depth variable that we declared and then we are gonna actually loop over the array, okay, index. We need dollar sign in here, okay, in the index. And then we can use uh, minus uh, D. So um, 
this uh, backward slash basically tells the script this is not the end, so I'm still typing. I don't want to actually write in the same line. So that's what it will do. And then I'm going to use minus, uh, minus D, okay? Minus D option will actually set the home directory for newly created users to slash, let's say, uh, for example, um, slash, I want to create the users and then slash home slash, okay? And then slash home slash whatever, okay? Uh, user in here, okay? So we're gonna, whatever user we have in CSV file, user, and then uh, the index in here. So index, okay, and the dollar sign to access the uh, variable, and then um, backward slash. We are still on the same line, okay. We're telling the script to run actually to don't stop, still running. So uh, minus p, we're gonna actually encrypt those passwords before minus p. Let's use minus s. And minus s basically will assign the bash, okay, the uh, the bash shell to the users, okay. So uh, the type of shell that we're going to assign to users is the bash shell. So forward slash bin, and then bash the path to the um, the shell, and then actually uh, the last command that we're going to use here is minus p. To, uh, for the password and we are going to encrypt the uh, the password actually so I'm gonna use backward slash in here and then minus P we are going to use the um, the dollar sign and then we are going to use echo command okay to display whatever effort we want so echo and then okay let's use the uh, variable and then okay a so um echo and then we're going to use the pass sorry pass and then the index is right here so the variable and then index it will loop over the passwords by doing so okay and then what we're going to do, we're going to use a pipe. We're going to pipe everything to open SSL to encrypt those passwords. Pass WD, okay, minus one, okay, and then STDIN, okay. So we are the, redirecting to uh, the stream input, okay. We are directing to the stream input, and then actually we are going to use the... Um, the um, we're going to loop over those users and create them, okay? So, dollar sign and then user, and of course, the dollar sign and index, okay? So, this will loop over all uh, the users, and after finishing this, we need to end up with done, okay, to end up the for loop, okay. So uh, let's test our script. So I'm going to actually save. I'm using VI. So I'm going to be in the command mode and then write and quit to save my script. And then notice that if I do ls minus la, my script can't run because it's not executable. So add users from CSV file is not actually executable. So let's make it executable sudo and then chmod plus x and then the add add users okay from csv file dot sh okay ls minus la to check the script as you can see it's turned in green and we add the x to the uh, user to the group and to other so script is executable right now and let's test and create those users and groups. So add user from uh, csv.sh. And we have some problem here. Add a user at line 23. So let's actually open SSH, open SSL. So uh, let's check line. Let's 
to use cat minus n to actually see the script with a line numbering and then add users dot users from csv.sh and line 23 it's right here sudo user add minus g is complaining by this one here okay let me check up top so 23 open ssh open ssl not ssh so let's check this one open ssh the open ssl let's um, manipulate the uh, the script let's go to open ssl not ssh here okay open ssl i need to be in the uh, insert mode and then open ssl right there okay so um okay echo password index open ssl and then the password and then i'm gonna actually save right now right in quit and let's actually run the script again and it says departments already exist, user department already exists, group IT already exists, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, we create the groups and the users, okay, uh, successfully. So if I were to go and cut the Etsy group, we can see the groups are created for us, the IT and sales, okay, like we mentioned in the CSV file. And then if we cat the Etsy and then password, we can see that the two users are created successfully right here. And uh, as you can see, this is the username. This is the uh, encrypted password with the X, the uh, user ID, group ID, okay? And then we have the home directory. So the uh, home directory with minus D. And then we assign the user the pin bash, okay, uh, the shell that the user is going to use, okay. I hope this has been informative for you guys and I would like to thank you for viewing.